Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa. Thank you very much for stopping by. I just got done filming another one, so if things look similar, they are doing back-to-back -back video shoots here. Uh, and this part is going to talk about taking my traveling art supplies with me as I get ready to prepare for my trip to Europe. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm carrying and hopefully I'll be able to get some drawing and sketching in. I don't think it's gonna be extensive, um, but I do hope that I can kind of tuck it away. The first thing that I'm carrying is this um, Lit Lab Smart Fit, uh, I guess, pouch for lack of better purpose. I've been carrying this around for the last few years. It's what I take with me when I'm out and about around town in the metropolitan DC area. And when I travel always, I take this kit with me. Let me just make sure I don't have it upside down. Okay, I don't. Um, and so just to kind of get into it so that you can kind of see what I have. I've got in here, starting from right going to left, I have a pair of sewing scissors. Um, I don't want to get my other nice Cutter Bees confiscate from TSA Pre, so I have those. I have some redundant and some resupplied washi tapes with um, painter tapes for my uh, journal book and some just plain old washi tapes that I use just in case I want to decorate um, my journals. So those are in there. And then in this pouch, I have a, the, uh, everybody has one of these jelly rolls, great for highlights. Um, I have one of those. I have a Fudasaki, Tomo Fudasaki hard uh, brush pen in here as well. I have my clutch pencil, which is pretty much the Uni 2H. It's the only pencil I really take with me on this. I also have a Tombow Mono, really small, um, eraser for details and then I have my three uh, Copic marker permanent pens my fine liners that I use so I've got the point three I've got a point five and I've got the point one and I use those for drawing quite a bit and then I additionally have just a metal ruler into the left so that's all that I have left into the right pocket going into the left pocket lots of <laughs> angst and agony because I um, wasn't sure if I wanted to take my Escoda travel brushes but I opted just to have water brushes instead and I've got to make sure I empty empty these out um, so this is a Tombow water brush and it's a round and I've got a little bit of water on that let me just take that off um, got the round this is I think what they consider like the small but not the extra small then I've got this one which is going to act as a flat and lastly I have the extra small round fine tip and although I'm not um, in love with these from a water control um, perspective they are good for travel and I don't have to worry about trying to find water if I like fill these up I can probably paint for a pretty good session um, I'm taking my pocket watercolor palette with me on this trip as well. And I think I got this off of Etsy. And then I'm taking the one Escoda brush that I have, which is a size 10 round. I love this brush. It has lots of coverage and it'll give me a little bit more than the uh, round with a little bit detail and it holds its point really well. A couple more packages of washi tapes and some post-it notes as well go into that other pocket. I have a mushable eraser from Faber-Castell that I just wrap in saran wrap and it's kind of grubby. And then my other mechanical pencil which is a Kuretake uh, pencil. I love these because it holds the point very well um, when you click it. It rotates the lead around so you never lose kind of your point on it so that is that particular pouch let me put all these things back this all fits nice and tightly into this pouch and I've been like I said been carrying this around for years it's fantastic and I can pack this away as you can see fairly quickly so let's just grab that
and voila. And let me just put this back here. Great pouch, highly recommend. Uh, so there's that one. Now this one um, has got more stuff in it and let's just unpack it. Okay, so I, I've got a little travel sponge that I just added um, for texture just in case I wanna do that. So there's a little sea sponge there. Dorland's wax uh, medium is great for gouache and sealing your gouaches down. I've got to get some glassine paper into this pouch and then that's the last ad that I have for this particular pouch. But I've got some Dorland's wax medium for that, for the wax, uh, for the gouache palette. I've got a little bit of art graph, which I like to use sometimes for highlights and shadow. So there's that one. I've got a uh, very miniature white out, which is very handy for just everything. Note writing. I've got a brush cleaner. I am going to be taking my Hannah Mula water, uh, watercolor book, and this is gonna be good for gouache as well. It hasn't been opened. I bought this a few years ago. It's so, it retail for $17.49 from Wet Paint, which is out of Minnesota. But I might it might be up to like $18 or $19 now. Here is my gouache palette card. Um, so these are all the gouaches that I'm taking with me. I really want to paint more with gouache than water excuse me, watercolor. Um, but I really do love watercolor, and it's my it's been the first medium that I learned. So there's that. And here is my gouache watercolor palette. I like this one because it's sealable. I'll just pop this open here. Sarah Burns turned me onto it on YouTube. I watched her channel and she got this one and I was like, this is great. And it seals and like really locks this down in place. So that is what, let me just go ahead and pop this open all the way so you can see. That is the gouache watercolor palette. All you have to do is wet them and they will reconstitute. So let me just put that back on there. Make sure that this is sealed up solidly. And the lid acts as a palette as well. But what I did, um, just in case I did not have a good palette, is I bought some, I bought a inexpensive, I used to use this all the time, inexpensive plastic one. And then I sprayed it with some matte um, finishing spray paint so that um, it will not beat up. So I've just got this really inexpensive plastic palette. If it breaks or I lose it, I really don't care. They, they're very inexpensive. I've got another wrap of painter's tape, just in case I need that. This is not plain paper. This is palette paper. So I have just folded this up. I've got three sheets. They're fairly small. I figure I can tear them in half for some sessions if I don't have this, something happens to that. Let's get into the pencils and pens additionally that I have in here. I have a viewfinder to frame the scene. More palette paper. I have two clips. Uh, this is my big extra large Oli clip and then I have a binder clip as well to like hold down my paper or sheets or books. I have three rolls of washi. Again, double duty for both journal and for um, holding down or framing, you know, if I go through the book or go through the tape that I have. Got some spares and options there. Got a Faber Castell eraser, just in case I need a larger one. My Blackwing um, pencil that I absolutely love takes special erasers. This one has a gray one. This is the pack of replacement ones. I think what I'm going to probably end up doing is just pulling one extra spare out. I can't imagine. I'm sorry. These are Blackwing spare erasers. I can't imagine <laughs> needing this whole entire pack. So I'll probably, after I get done filming this, just pop one of these out, maybe two just in case I lose one and stick it in the bag. So there's that. I've got a red 
pencil that's supposed to be able to hide this if I decide to scan in my photos. I've got a Sharpie regular pen. One of these is almost expired, so um, I've got the other one in the other pack with my fountain pens. I've got a blue ink Uniball fineliner. I've got a gray Copic fineliner in warm gray, just in case I want to do that one. I think I'm going to leave the Statler out of my kit because I don't need that. I've got my Copics and I've got a brown color erase um, Prisma pencil as well. And I got another eraser, which I won't be taking with me. I don't need all these erasers. And then I just found my travel flat brush from Rosemary and Co, which I might just go ahead and take out the Tombow one. I'm kind of torn about that one, but I might take this one with me as well. So that is what I have and it all fits. Everything else now fits into this bag pouch for all the other necessities that I feel like I want to take with me. It seems like it's excessive. It probably is. I probably won't use everything that I've got, but I sometimes like to have a little bit more than a little less and wish that I had brought it with me. So I'm just going to pack all this back in here. The main thing out of this was the palette, the watercolor book, because you need to have the medium to put that on, and then the door lens for the gouache, and so on and so forth. Those I really did feel like were really pertinent for me to have. The washi tape is for my journals and just in case I run out of the band, the whiteout because I make mistakes with writing all the time. And that's it. This all does <laughs> really fit into this quite nicely. And this will be the watercolor and travel art kit that I'll take with me for this trip. If you have any questions, oops, I forgot my pipette. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will hopefully have really good footage when I come back of this trip and my sketching adventures while I'm on it. And until then, stay safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Baby, like my name was Goku, feeling too good, real good, yeah, I'm so true. Remember bad days used to have, yeah, I felt blue. Now I'm up high in the sky like, ooh, ooh. Mama said if I wanted, I need that.